Ugh. Every week feels like 3,000 years, and every month feels like three days. Is that bad? They call me the nuance lover because I love nuance. But only sometimes, of course. It's not always appropriate. Is anyone else constantly afraid they'll be caught doing stuff they're obviously allowed or even supposed to do? Oh, I'm, I'm playing video games on my computer that I own. If anyone sees this, I'm going to have to fake my own death. Hi, Earth Updates today, me again. Uh, I'm more squids. Buddy, you're asking the wrong guy. I just get everyone's coffee orders. Hey, if he's getting squids, can I get a uh, octopi? Brother, I can get you a mocha, not a cephalopod. Behold with your eyes, fish. The tusk of a woolly mammoth being unearthed from a Siberian riverbed. Wrong. Huge earthworm. You know, it costs zero dollars to be nice and friendly. It costs $2.50 for an ice pop from the ice cream truck. You want me to spot you? I'm happy to because I love you. We could have so many forevers together. I love you, Carly Ray Jepsen, but the lyric, who gave you eyes like that, said you could keep them, is absolutely a wild thing to say. Are you going to confiscate someone's eyeballs? Your balls. Hand them over. I could have phrased this better. I was explaining to my mom on the phone the concept of a cosmic horror, and she hit me with the one-hit KO of, Oh, you mean like Horton Here's a Who? I guess! I explain. Please. Yeah, so basically a cosmic horror is the fear of a godlike being or entity so much bigger than yourself and your perception of the universe that your brain can't possibly comprehend it, often leading to some sort of madness in the stories because of this break in your perception of reality because this entity is so incomprehensible to your limited worldview. The concept is credited to H.B. Lovecraft because of stuff like Cthulhu, but the guy was also a massive... Ah, so like Horton hears a who, I get it. Wait, is it like... Does the Lego movie count? They managed to escape into the human world, and it's all hazy because they don't understand the people were controlling them the whole time. Sure, sure, the Lego move is cosmic horror. Why not? Oh my god, this is a long fucking one. All right, here we go, I guess. Uh, this is why I do short ones. The Lego movie absolutely counts, and it's treated that way from the character's point of views. Emmett describes the man upstairs as having hands like giant pink sausages, like eagle talons mixed with squid, where it sounds like a human trying to describe an eldritch horror. Just think. Everyone and everything in his world is made of Lego pieces. They are as fundamental as the subatomic particles that make up our world. From the character's perspective, the humans are gods that created these fundamental elements as drastically simplified playthings imitating their own world. Imagine finding out that the periodic table of elements was constructed by gods in order to build a simulation of something a thousand times more complex. And we are just simulations being puppeted by these gods for their amusement. This also explains why objects like the Craggle and the Scepter of Q-Tip are considered relics with unnatural powers. They are discarded items from the higher, far more complex reality that follow the rules of that reality, not the character's reality. That is why they can influence the character world in ways not normally permitted by that reality. This puts a whole new perspective on the scene where Lord Business uses the nail polish remover on Good Cop, Bad Cop to erase his face! Oh my god! Jesus Christ! Bio, I have too many bookmarks. Edit, never mind, I just saw someone with 20k bookmarks, I'm terrified! I have the right of way was a form of protective charm uttered by urban travelers in the early 21st century. They believe this phrase acted as a ward against danger and injury, invoking the divine spirit of traffic law, one of their primary deities. One of its most iconic offshoots are, Hey yo, I am walking here. Can we all agree that it's pathetic when so-called friends try to sabotage your opportunities? You're clearly jealous that the amulet of eternal darkness chose me, and no amount of Please fight it, I know you're still in there somewhere, is going to change that crab bucket mentality. Grow up. Hello, past morning, Seymour. We have been trying to reach you about a serious problem with your characters. You see, people have been going blind from the overabundance of cuteness. We ask you to tone it down or else we will spray you with a water gun. Thank you for your time. The World Health Organization, not the real one, though. Oh, 
Well, well, well. You finally figured it out. You see, over the last four years, I have been studying the forbidden arts of too cute for comprehension. And it has been <laughs> very successful. But now, my mere new foe, I have larger ambitions. To create a piece so absolutely cute and wholesome, it will blind the whole world. It will be the last thing anyone sees. And it will be glorious. My god, it's... It's worse than we thought. Interns, man the cannons! Oh, you silly, silly bingus. The cannoneers just witnessed a side picking flowers in a sun hat. They can't see anything anymore. Dear gods, we must send in the depressed workers at once! <laughs> you mean those depressed workers smiling at that picture of Chie napping in the field? There is no stopping me now. And past morning, Seymour, was my father. Please, call me Person Man. No! No! Oh God! No! 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 Imagine it's Sunday morning. You've been allowed to sleep in as long as you want. You have no chores or responsibilities all day. There's fresh fallen snow on the ground. Your mom makes cinnamon rolls and serves you breakfast. But you're almost three, so you are blind with rage. Good taste can only be developed as a result of early access to the internet and childhood neglect. Have you noticed more people shoplifting in your area? Well, yeah, I saw the British Museum take a few things. I was tempted to get a suit and tie and just say I'm dressed as the scariest monster ever. A member of the IRS. <laughs> Doesn't eat all day. Feels miserable. Has lunch at 3 p.m. Oh. Me staring out the window. Looks like rain. Submarine captain. What? But like, more. Radar pumpkin! <laughs> One of the richest companies in the world can't take the time to get a real pumpkin and cut four squares into it. Like Wallace and Gromit, Vengeance Most Foul debuts at 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. They used up all the Gromit clay for this one, so you have to go see it. There's no more Gromit clay left! Christmas carols? You mean trick or treating in December? Yes, but the 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 exception is the only treat you get is figgy pudding. Pull pork out pork in it? Nah, you good. They all right. They pulled the pork out. Hey, right, Pat, that's what I was thinking. Simple question: What is your favorite food? Arosan. No. <laughs> Texas teen Alondra Carmona is giving up her entire college savings to help pay for her mom's rent and prevent her being evicted. This is not a feel-good story. It's a dystopian nightmare. No, it's okay, public citizen. They used a picture of her smiling. It's supposed to make you feel like it's a good thing. Don't you understand a new vital come as well? He threw up under my bed, so as punishment, I'm giving him body dysmorphia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. Tell me your most radical position that cannot be placed on the left to right political spectrum. <clears throat> Serving shrimp with the tail still on when it's already mixed into something, pasta, rice, etc. is insane. See, this is the shit that could probably get us to like compromise on things, because I'm sure everyone could agree that's just crazy. I look forward to that one YouTube comment that's like, um, well, actually, tech enthusiasts, my entire house is smart. Tech workers. The only piece of technology in my house is a printer and I keep a gun next to it so I can shoot it if it makes a noise I don't recognize. 
We've assembled 100 people with ADHD and 5 people with no soft skills to manage them and given them a simple goal, make an impossible amount of money. We call it the games industry and we think it's going to work great. Man, doing that voice, it's really uh, making me want to make a quote-unquote healthier option to a fucking preserved lunchbox kit and sell it to three-year-olds. If you see this... Straighten your back, you banana-shaped fuck. McDonald's can now legally fix its own ice cream machines. Previously, only the manufacturer Taylor was allowed to fix them. Friendly reminder, the U.S. Congress provided copyright exemption for this, but not the preservation of video games that are stuck on decades-old hardware or haven't seen re-releases. I understand. It's a very good point. But also, you, you gotta realize, this is like the death of like one of three 40s white women jokes. The ice cream machine is fixed. What 1900 people thought life would be like in the year 2000. Balloon supported lake walking. We've gone the wrong way. Other social media websites I'm on are like, Hot to a girl, Mr. Beast are collabing for a feastables event. And Tumblr's like, here are my top 10 favorite ants. Anytime I see that person's name, I keep wanting to say Hakwa. It's like they always say, I'd rather be eating oranges in the shower than imprisoned in a tower. Dumbass sentence tag. Well, guess who's going in the tower? I see you have mischaracterized my blurbo. That's okay. That's fine. Everyone interprets things differently. I'm exploding you in my mind with the power of 9,754,685 suns now. Aged like milk. What did cheese ever do to you? Lou, what are you doing to get cheese when you accidentally leave a glass of milk on the counter for three hours? Being optimistic. Female protagonists will literally go through 30 life-altering traumas at the age of 16, and you people still have the audacity to call them annoying because they cry about it and act like teenage girls. If you're pining, you need to stop and pick a different tree. You know, spruce it up a little. I'm still proud of this post. It's evergreen. Hmm. I can sense I am not the only warrior of light in this Popeye's bathroom. And I sense it's another Twink Makote boy. Where are you, you little bitch? The early 2010s were better. No, they weren't. Hey, little sister was on the radio. Stereo, the way you're moving, there you know. Yo, check it out. Your horoscope says you're turning into a tree tomorrow. I don't remember that bit in tarot. Why are girls so hot? Climate change. Oh! Psst, hey, guys, did you hear? They made up a new game that everyone you know suddenly got really, really into in the span of a day, and you've never heard anything about it at all prior. Like, what, what the fuck is mouthwashing? Did you ever want to just gently float up to someone and whisper, This isn't a debate. I'm actually educated on the subject, and I'm telling you you're wrong. Yes, and I would also like to gently float in general. This is the most positive addition that has ever been made on my post. Imagine a calico cat. Now, Tabby. Hey, whoa, slow down. I'm still working on the first one. Oh, sorry. Mares should be required by law to wear a top hat and a sash that says mayor at all times. Like, how am I supposed to know you're the mayor? They don't even taste good, but I still get excited about chocolate coins. Like, I don't necessarily even want to eat them. They're so low quality, it's just not worth the effort to masticate them. I guess I just... I just want to have a big pile of them to curl up on top of. You. You get it. I also think it's fair to assume that all chocolate coins were just manufactured in 1913, and they've just been circulating the same ones since. Me reaping. Oh, I know. I for sure did not sow this much. No way all this was me. Mm-mm. No. 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 One thing Caroline taught me is to not trust overly nice people. LMFL. I know people who are pretending to be too nice, just like the other mother. <laughs> yeah, Coraline taught me not to trust a random lady with buttons for her eyes who wants me to call them mommy. I could be wrong, but I always thought the movie was about kidnapping and the kidnappers trying to treat you like they're your own child. Like, am I wrong? Me has never touched cocaine. Me every time I'm at the airport. Oh no. What if I accidentally packed a lot of cocaine? My homophobic Evie after I tell him he's going to be a Sylveon. 
I moved my six inch, maybe six foot, six foot heavy weapons guy cardboard cutout, went out for groceries and almost got scared to death on my way home. Why no? The boy says that when we whack this last guy, we'll finally have this entire part of town under our control. I love the job. Hashtag gooning. This account is now sponsored by The Woods. Trademark. The Woods. Trademark. Go ahead and go in. Go ahead and go in him. Don't even, don't even worry about it. Dogs don't give a damn about daylight savings times. Get your ass up. It's time for the reminder. You're feeding me an hour later because of daylight saving time? How the fuck can I read a clock, John? I thought when it was two older men, it was called Yuri. Nope, Yuri is two women. I won't believe I'm getting ratioed by someone with a Ranamon profile picture. Del Fox, but close enough. I haven't played Digimon in my defense. Del Fox is a Pokemon. I only use ghost and psychic types. I have some great news for you. I'm getting so owned in this thread, it's beyond belief. Help, does anyone know the name of that one show where a character like this appears? Lenny the Poe, dude. The sheer god fucking damn disrespect you give to our living legend, Wow Wow Wubsy! Mysterious old lady flips tarot card, revealing a dude who looks exactly like me flying a hot air balloon into power lines. Me. Is that good? You know how people put their mental illnesses in their bio? Well, I'm gonna start doing it too. Irritable bowel syndrome. Feed me a buffalo wing and watch what happens. <laughs> Venom, the last dance, overperforms internationally and earned $175 million on its global box office opening weekend. The film had a $120 million budget. Movies are waking up to the infinite money glitch that is the untapped Fujoshi market. Oh, y'all are going to hate me for this one. Moisturize me. Moisturize me. Moisturize me. Moisturize me. Do it, Daddy. The creator of Terraria says the worst part of making one of the biggest indie games ever is that their wife likes Stardew Valley more. It gets better when you consider that their wife is also a Terraria dev. God is holding me in his arms, trying to get me to settle down a little, but I am clawing and hissing and biting so much. We should start giving testosterone to ants. Uncles. Give it a minute. Mutual interacts with a post I made. Me. <gasps> Whoa, I thought you despised me and wanted me to die a gruesome death based on zero evidence. But I'm so glad you are actually deeply in love with me instead. I will forget this in less than a day. There's lots of emotional impairments amongst the Tumblr girlies, it seems. November is the Thursday of months. November is like if you took October and December, but instead of adding them together, you, you subtracted them from each other. I have no idea what this means, but I know it's true on a gut level. November and Thursday are the same color. And boy howdy, is this gonna be a rough Thursday. Not that I'm a huge fan of the starving artist trope, but what if, you know, we fed the artists? I mean, it's just a thought, but like, if we keep starving them, they might stop making art or die, but that's less of an issue. Think of the art. And I know we joke about human beings being renewable resources, but like, if we keep starving the artists, there may come a day when we like, run out of artists. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, it didn't mean to bring down utilitarian capitalist vibe or anything. It's just a, it's just a thought, but like, I think about it. To call someone a horse's ass is so underrated. It is the most damning profanity. Scientists have created mice with two biologically male parents for the first time. A significant milestone in reproductive biology. <gasps> Mouse yowie real. Mpreg. Mouse pregnancy. Sometimes someone isn't toxic. They're just abrasive or mutagenic or highly flammable, and you should always check their material safety data sheet to be sure. Tag yourself, I'm harmful irritant. Screw Zodiac signs, what's your NFPA 704? 
Do I want this? Yes. Do I need this? Also yes. I love the idea that Psyduck is the only starter Pokemon in both Pokemon Ibuprofen and Pokemon Tylenol. Now this is just a racer of history. Where the fuck is Pokemon Acetaminophen? Light Yagami is a misogynist, I say into the mic. The crowd boos. I begin to walk off in shame. When a voice speaks and commands silence from the room, she's right. Surprising for a woman, they say. I look for the owner of the voice. There in the fifth row stands Light Yagami. Dream 7T, why do you hate elves so much? <laughs> When did I say that? Point to where I said that. When I said every elf should be drafted into an impossible war against an unrelenting meat grinder, I meant nothing by it. You just, you're biased. Fake news. Watching Kitchen Nightmares when I'm suddenly met with a screen cap that would have racked up 700k notes on Tumblr in 2014. And with your help, we can rack up 700k notes on Tumblr in 2024. No Tumblr, this doesn't need tags. I am releasing it into the wild as God intended. For Kent Weed! There's a tension in the air. As if ice is breaking. As if someone doesn't want a lot. For something.